Hey, how's everyone doing today? This is Mark from Vortex Hobby. Today I'm super excited to bring you a brand new release of a product, the SEX-10 II. This truck has been a long time coming and Axial has really done a great job of including what I believe are tons of things that have been asked for years and years for the SEX-10s to have. So, Let's take a look. We're going to dive into this vehicle. I'm going to do some comparing and contrast between previous models of the SCX-10 and this new release. Again, like always, you can find all these products at Vortex Hobby. You can either come into the store or you can check us out online. So let's take a look. Let's just take a quick look at the box here. This is the new SCX-10 II. It comes with a 2000 Jeep Cherokee body. It has some brand new license BFG Goodwrench all terrains. Here's a quick look at some of their new features that they have with this kit. Is their universal axle set that's included as well as a brand new designed set of aluminum suspension links. This is one of those things we've been hoping for. A pan hard system with a servo mounted on the chassis. This really adds a lot of realism to the vehicle by getting that servo off the axle and mounted up inside the body where it can't be seen. So I'm going to dive into this vehicle, get it all built and assembled, come back we're going to take a quick look kind of see some of the differences of what they've done with this new release compared to their previous SCX-10. Here we have a completed SCX-10 II chassis. First off we'll take a look at the now chassis mounted servo. This is a great feature for realism and to also protect your servo a little more now that it's up underneath the body. Another cool feature of this new chassis design is the battery the compartment is now side mounted far as they can get it in the front of the chassis. That's where you want your weight ballot balance most. It's also closer to the frame where before in the previous model it was a plate like this one that sat about that high actually which kind of made the vehicle a little tippy on the sides and did not put the weight where it is most needed. So awesome job and great design. Also has these tabs here for different battery types to make sure they're locked in tight. Another cool feature is this really detailed new transmission and transfer case that they have now included in this vehicle. So let's take a look at what it looked like in previous versions. It was one like this, a direct drive to the drive lines, no ability for a second gear, which this new one has the capability to accept a two-speed optional parts soon available. A few other things that have been recently designed on this chassis is a new receiver box. Also now has molded in bottom panels on each side of the frame. Different style front bumper and rear bumper. It is extended pretty far. It is pre-drilled for a winch if you want to add one. The rear bumper again is extended pretty far for the length of the vehicle and they do include a tow hitch and receiver. So let's take a quick look at the underneath. First off we'll take a look at your center diff. One of the big key features they've added 
First, they've reduced the actual physical size compared to previous models, which makes it look a little more in scale. The other thing they also did is the output shaft on it has been higher to the top, which will eliminate your drive shaft from hitting rocks. So when you come up over a rock, it's gonna hit your links and the weight will be put on there and your your drive shaft will not run into the rock great design looks great and also functionally fabulous the other thing it also does is makes the angle of the drive shaft into the transfer case less of a severe angle which means less wear it's more in line with the transfer case. The other big thing is of course the links themselves. They've moved up to a higher gauge aluminum. So obviously the strength and the durability has been increased. Rod ends are bigger all the way around. So let's take a look at the front of the vehicle. Right here we have the molded plastic grill has real light buckets that you can install LEDs in. It, when you get the body ready, you'll have to actually cut out and install this hard plastic piece in there for the grill. The next we have here is the bumper with the fair lead pressed right into the front of it so you can install your winch right here. Next, let's take a look. Right here, we can really see the tread pattern of these BFGs. Looks really scale and they feel quite nice. We also have these hard plastic mirrors that are mounted on here. Another great realistic piece. We actually have real door handles that you mount onto the side as well. Again, another great looking piece to give it that extra bonus uh, look of scale. We'll go back to the back now. Again, mold it in. You got your license plate. Here's also this receiver and ball hitch comes right in here. There's a screw right underneath here. You can take it out and slide it right out. Some molded in uh, places for lights again. Then let's take one quick look at this really nice included safari rack that they have on top of this. It goes across the whole entire roof of the vehicle. This is one bonus that you get with the kit. The ready to run does not include this. One other thing, right now it is flexed out at three and a half inches of flex in the front. All four wheels are still touching the ground. So that was a quick walkthrough of the new SCX-10 II by Axial Racing. This vehicle looks really well made and really well designed. I'm super excited to get it out on the rocks, see what terrain it can handle. And again, you can find this at Vortex Hobby. You can come into our stores, talk to us, we'll help you out. You can also check us out on the web at vortexhobby.com. Again, have fun on the trail and talk to you later.